In this episode of Around the World, we talk about chocolate cake, winter sports, and egg battles. Hey guys, welcome back to Around the World, the series that brings culture to you. I'm your host Tristan, and today we're heading to Austria. Located in Central Europe, Austria is home to around 9 million people. Its official name is the Republic of Austria, and is led by a president and federal government. Austrian German is the official language, along with Alemannic and Austro-Bavarian, which are two significant languages. The local currency is the Euro. Do it! Austrians highly value and believe being on time. It's okay if you're a few minutes late, but don't keep your friends waiting too long. Austrians are passionate about their food. If you're invited to someone's home for a meal, it's considered polite to use your fork to cut up as much of your food as possible. The cook will take this as a compliment that their food is tender. Don't. So there's a popular and classic film and musical that shows life in Austria. However, Austrians as a whole feel that it isn't historically correct in what it shows. And overall, many locals don't care for the film and musical at all. So be sure to form your opinion based on your personal experience with the locals. There are many who think Austria and Germany are pretty much the same, but each have very unique differences in their culture, customs, and values. Honestly, if you compare or think of Austrians as Germans, some locals may find it annoying, so try your best not to. Oh yeah! Vienna is the capital and the largest city in Austria. It dates back to the Roman Empire in the first century and once served as the capital of the Babenberg dynasty and the long-lasting Habsburg dynasty during their rule of Austria. Some cool spots include the Hofburg, which has been home to every Austrian ruler since the 1920s, and also St. Stephen's Cathedral, built almost 900 years ago in the 1100s. Salzburg is the fourth largest city in Austria. It's well known for its Baroque style or highly decorative style of architecture from the 1600s. The city center is one of the best preserved cities north of the Alps Mountains. Some cool spots include Mozart's Birthplace Museum and the Hohen Salzburg Fortress, which is nearly 1,000 years old. Innsbruck is a city in the west of Austria and sits at the base of the Alps. Austria is known for its winter sports. You can consider Innsbruck its winter sports capital. There are many ski resorts and Innsbruck has played host to multiple winter Olympic events over the years. Austrian cuisine has a diverse collection of flavors from Italy, Hungary, Germany, and some Balkan countries. Some popular Austrian dishes include Tafelspitz and Wiener Schnitzel. Tafelspitz is boiled beef broth served with veggies, spices, horseradish, and applesauce. Wiener Schnitzel is the main national dish of Austria. It's breaded and deep fried meat served with some form of salad like lettuce or potatoes. To be an official Austrian Schnitzel, the meat must be veal. For dessert, you can try apple strudel or sacco torte. Apple strudel is a thin apple filled pastry that includes cinnamon, sugar, and raisins. Sacco torte is a rich chocolate cake covered in a thin layer of avocado jam, which is then covered in a layer of chocolate icing. It even has its own holiday in the US. Demel is Austria's most famous pastry and chocolate shop. They've been around since the 1700s and they've been serving the Austrian royals since the 1800s, meaning they have really good treats fit for royalty. Austria is home to some of the most famous classical music composers the world has ever seen. Some of the many famous composers include Josef Haydn, Johann Strauss, and Mozart. While he was born in Germany, Beethoven lived the majority of his life in Vienna. It was there where musically he made a name for himself. Like him, many composers in Austria lived in Vienna. And because of this, today, Vienna is considered a musical capital of the world. The Salzburg Festival dates back 100 years ago and is the most famous event in Austria. It runs from late July to September and celebrates the opera, classical music, and theater through live performances. A fun family Austrian tradition for Easter is to play Irpikin, or to have an Easter egg battle. Family members will be served a colored hard-boiled egg along with a cake shaped like a lamb. Two players at a time hold their eggs, tip up, 
and tap them together to try to crack each other's eggs. The winner moves on to the next player, and the game continues until there's one egg standing. That'd be a fun game to watch. I'm sure I'd just be cracking up. Get it? Cracking up? No? Servus. Servus. Wie hast du? Wie hast du? Ich bin der Emanuel. Ich bin der Emanuel. Jo. Jo. Na. Na. Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Well, that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Austria. I'll see you next time on Around the World. <laughs>